Art has the power to inspire us, to enrich our surroundings and our lives, and to see the world through somebody else's eyes. Since the Renaissance and further back as well, it's been common for people with wealth and status to spend fortunes on it. And nowadays when you hear about paintings selling at auctions for tens of millions or more, it catches your attention. And it gets you asking, what exactly motivates people to spend that much money on a painting? Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Well, Aluxers, we've done our homework and we can tell you there are actually quite a few reasons. Some are fairly obvious, others less so. So let's break it down for you and have a look into the 15 reasons why the rich buy art. And obviously not just any art, but seriously expensive art. Number one, the satisfaction of owning it. Yep, reason number one is as simple as that. Research has been done on why high net worth individuals buy art. The biggest reason by far was the pleasure of owning it. When we're talking about an item that's not only beautiful to behold, but that was created by a world-renowned master of their craft, it's totally unique, and in some cases is a famous work. All of that's got to give the buyer quite a buzz when the hammer goes down at auction. We all get a similar feeling when we buy something we've desired for a long time. But if it's a Monet, a Van Gogh, or a Hearst, that feeling is definitely going to be multiplied quite a few times. Number two, an investment that could rise in value. This comes up as the second biggest reason for buying art, but let's be clear, a distant second. When the super rich are asked why they buy art, investment is only given as a motivating factor in around 10% of cases. It's true that art has been fetching higher and higher prices at auction over the last 50 years. The record prices high-profile pieces keep going for are rising, way above inflation. In fact, sales in the global art market brought in over $67 billion in 2018. But that's partly down to a bigger base of super rich collectors than before. But keep in mind, this is only true of art on the high end. If, just if, you get your hands on a Leonardo da Vinci, yep, you can be sure it will break records. Like his painting Salvatore Mundi did in 2017, selling for an earth-shattering $450 million. But remember, that's one of less than 20 da Vinci paintings in the world, and the only one in a private collection. Works by a small elite group of living artists like Damien Hirst, Jeff Koons, and Yayoi Kusama are also safe investments. But outside of this super elite circle, it's more difficult to predict where the prices will go. And experts say it's only worth investing in art if you're willing to wait at least 10 years. Number three, to diversify an investment portfolio. We've said that art's only likely to gain value if it's already high value and that it's pretty risky. That means it can make sense to invest in some art to diversify your investments. That is, if you've got a huge, extremely high-value portfolio and you'd like to make art a small part of it. Whatever the value of your investments is, a key rule is to have variety. If you've just got stocks, a base of safe ones, and a few high-risk ones. What if you're super rich and you've already got millions in stocks, bonds, and real estate and want to put another million into something new? Something risky but fun and exciting. This is when investing in art makes sense. Number four, if you're rich and glamorous, it's part of the lifestyle. Two or three decades ago when the rich went shopping, it was usually for fashion, fast cars, or yachts. Since then, something's changed. Art has made its way onto the list of must-have items for A-listers. If you're glamorous but just want to make sure the world knows it, there's nothing like becoming an art collector. It's not just about owning it, it's about being seen at auctions and exhibitions, when you'll rub shoulders with the likes of Beyonce and Jay-Z, Kim and Kanye and Pharrell Williams. They're all in on the art collecting game. Or Leonardo DiCaprio, who owns works by artists from Salvador Dali to Jean-Michel Basquiat. As well as collecting, he's pals with artists like Damien Hirst and Ai Weiwei. Number five, if you're rich but not so glamorous, it's a great way to become glamorous. What if you've made millions just not from music, fashion, or movies, from something less glitzy, like shipping, IT, or owning a fast food chain, and you want in on the celebrity lifestyle? Well, getting in on the art scene is one way to do it. That's what collectors Robert and Ethel Schull did in the 1960s after making millions from their New York taxi company and creating quite a buzz when they sold 50 pieces from their collection for $2.2 million, a sum that was unheard of back then. 
And ever since, it's been seen as a way of being known as chic and sophisticated as well as rich. Number 6. A Safe Haven for Capital Yes, we've already said that art's usually a risky investment, but art does have a few unusual plus points. First, price movements in the art world happen in a different universe from what goes on in the stock market, which means they can make for a hedge against a depression or a crash. Secondly, there have been lots of examples of people investing in art in times of uncertainty and coming out with a profit, like in the Second World War, and nowadays in countries with volatile economies and currencies that are prone to getting devalued. The rich often invest in art as one way of hedging their bets. Number 7. To Enrich Their Environment This one doesn't take much explanation. We all want our homes and workplaces to look nice and feel great in them. And whether we're rich, poor, or somewhere in between, we decorate them to make the time we spend there more fulfilling. When it comes to the super rich, whether it's their multi-million dollar home or the offices of the companies they run, they're going to do the same. That's how you get Mark Zuckerberg commissioning art for the Facebook headquarters. And when it comes to making your environment look richer, an original by a world-class artist is tough to beat. Number 8. To Inspire Creativity it's no secret that some of the most creative people on the planet invest in art, and having great art hanging on your walls is bound to get your creative juices flowing. We've already mentioned a few celebrities who own art. Let's not forget that a lot of them are hugely creative people. And just to mention a few other artists who are trailblazers in what they do in the world of music, we have David Bowie, he was an avid art collector, as are Madonna and Lady Gaga. And in the fashion world, we can add Tom Ford, Marc Jacobs, and Tommy Hilfiger. And it's not just people involved in artistic creation. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Larry Ellison collect art as well. It seems like art can inspire entrepreneurs and business leaders too. Maybe it's because artists are driven, innovative, and adventurous, and these are all qualities shared by entrepreneurs and something they recognize when they see a beautiful work of art. Number 9. It's a Talking Point you may have an eye-catching piece of art that gets everybody's attention and gets them talking about it when they visit. Maybe you paid a six-figure sum for it, maybe you paid $20 or less. Works of art don't need to be expensive to get people talking, but if it's an original Jackson Pollock or a Kandinsky, well, that's going to be one hell of a talking point. Number 10. To show it off. This one kind of relates to the last point, but a little more extreme. To put it simply, there aren't many ways you can signal wealth better than buying some seriously expensive artwork. Investing wisely in the stock market or in a successful company you own, that shows you're good at finance. Buying a luxury house, a yacht, or a supercar, well, you might be showing off, but it's also something practical you're going to be using. Buying a piece of art for over a million dollars, even when it's a good investment and shows great taste, well, there's just something kind of decadent about it, because it's something you don't really need, just want. In fact, this is a big reason why the super rich are buying art in countries that have accumulated more wealth in the last few decades, like China, India, and Russia. When having that much money is new to you, you're more likely to show it off, and art is a great way of doing that. Number 11. To pass it on to your children. Research that looks into why the rich buy art points to this as another reason. The feeling that you're buying something of value that's going to last longer than you are. A legacy you can pass on to your children. But that research also states that perhaps it isn't such a great idea, because children who inherit expensive works of art are more likely to sell them than keep them. This shouldn't come as much of a surprise, not just because it's common for parents and children to have different tastes, but also because the temptation to sell the painting mom and dad used to love for a six-figure sum is kinda hard to resist for some people. Number 12. Tax Avoidance in a lot of countries, including the USA, tax laws work in a way that favors you if you regularly buy high-value art. Specifically, if you sell a painting and put the money in the bank, you'll have to pay capital gains tax on it, but sell a painting and put the money into another painting? That's a pretty neat way around paying those taxes. Number 13. To Increase the Value of Property 
If you own a luxury home that you're renting to seriously wealthy tenants with taste, one way to raise the rent even higher is by hanging some expensive art on the walls. It's not just that it increases the value of the property. In some super exclusive circles, it's even expected for the art to cost as much as a regular house. And a cheap print of Van Gogh's Starry Night or Klimt's The Kiss really isn't going to cut it. And the same goes for extremely high-end hotels. A case in point is the Empathy Suite at the Palms Casino Resort Las Vegas. Damien Hurst was hired to supply the art for the super luxury suite, including two sharks suspended in formaldehyde, and renting it for a night costs $100,000. We're sure it would still be pricey without Hurst's artistic touches, just not quite as pricey. Number 14, to set up art galleries. All over the world, the super rich love to buy art and display it in galleries they founded and sometimes put their names to. Think of some of the most famous galleries in the world, like the Guggenheim or the J. Paul Getty. The founders of these museums didn't make their fortunes in art. Solomon Guggenheim made his name in mining, John Paul Getty in oil. Once they became rich, they got seriously into art. And in some cases, there are very specific benefits of founding art galleries, where self-interest plays a big part. For example, in China, when the super rich set up an art gallery, it's often because it's a tried and tested way of getting approval for real estate deals. Number 15, Pride in Your Culture. In the last two decades, the number of expensive works of art from China and Africa in particular have grown hugely, especially among buyers from those regions. Which means that when you become rich, it's normal that you'll want to buy expensive art that makes you proud of where you're from. And having a love of art from your culture isn't just limited to country lines. Earlier, we mentioned Beyonce. She's a big collector of African-American artists whose work reflects the African-American experience, like Carrie James Marshall, Kara Walker, and David Hammond which again proves the love of culture you're from is a big motivation for buying art. Which brings us to today's question, Alexers. If you were given a million dollars to spend on art, what kind of art would you spend it on? Let us know in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's that bonus we owe you. Money laundering. Finally, we get to the really dark side of the art world, and this video wouldn't really be complete without mentioning money laundering for organized crime. For the super rich out there who made their money from not quite so legitimate means, often they're going to want to hide from the authorities where they got the money from, and multi-million dollar deals on works of art is the perfect way to do it. Think about it, it's not that difficult to see why. Prices are very subjective and value is difficult to determine, even by experts. This means it's easy to inflate the value of a piece if you want to. Deals are often made privately and anonymously. Recent regulations on how art deals are made have been tightened up, but it's safe to assume that money laundering is still a big reason worldwide for buying and selling art. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.